Welcome also from my side. My name is Gunnar Böttger and today I would like to present automated assembly of thin glass based optical systems showing you some panel fabrication approaches we have established at Fraunhofer IZM. I would like to show you how we uh, do automated assembly of thin glass based optical systems and uh, we use uh, uh, thin panel glass in highly scalable photonic and electronic assemblies. We therefore can provide a prototyping and production platform using very adaptable processes and we integrate almost any functionalities and geometries of optical or electrical components. Glass is an excellent material as such. Uh, this was shown already in our recent uh, seminar and um, it's uh, got very high uh, quality concerning optical and electrical uh, properties and um, you can integrate waveguides, you can introduce redistribution layers and uh, wires. Furthermore, uh, and I would like to concentrate on that today, we have a high stability and dimension and uh, we can use quick laser processing, we can have easily adaptable designs and we can apply this for uh, photonic assemblies and today I would like to show you complex optical sensing platforms we have realized on glass. There are different ways and waves actually and levels of integration. Uh, traditionally fiber-based sensing uh, was used in realizing optical systems Currently, we have uh, navigation and uh, autonomous driving applications and uh, with fiber optical systems, you can realize many configurations and uh, this is for lab only, however, and it's very high adapt highly adaptable, but it's not a volume solution. And uh, therefore, uh, the other approach is to use a chip based sensing, but there are some disadvantages in this. You have very complex designs, you have a high integration levels, but if you have design changes, uh, this is very costly. So we also use photonic chips at IZM and we couple to them and uh, you can integrate quite a bit of functionality on very small integrated circuits. Today I would like to show you the possibly most versatile way of integration and this is panel based. So we use thin glass for optical benches and uh, we integrate discrete optics and electronics. We are highly adaptable. We use inexpensive materials. We couple light via free space beam and uh, we can assemble components on thin glass platforms. And we can also provide uh, electrical pads and leads on this metallized glass so we can uh, integrate electronics. The panel based approach uh, normally connects to the outside world with optical fibers. This was already shown in, web in series number two. And uh, we show that uh, we can also use fiber uh, connectors that have many fibers and we have integrated waveguides. We can integrate these by ion exchange methods and uh, have optical guiding inside glass. Uh, Propagated here is that we have free space beams and direct discrete coupling on glass. Yeah? So we use the thin glass platforms for uh, components we can assemble on uh, the, op the glass platform and we can cr create fairly complex uh, sensing platforms. One example is shown here on a footprint of 100 by 50 millimeters. And uh, we can externally connect uh, optical sensors and uh, connect to the outside world. So um, this is the actual uh, sensing platform in real size and uh, you see fibers uh, leaving the platform. There's one fiber coupling light into the platform. Uh, we have electrical uh, wires going out or reading out signals that we uh, get from photodiodes. Yeah. So it's a balanced interferometer and it can read out an optical sensor from the outside. Back to our presentation. Uh, by using free space beam couplers, we can have uh, complex beam paths that are used for single beam, uh, single mode beam coupling. And uh, we create uh, 
fiber holders, ferrule holders in glass. We can have gluing st structures and alignment structures included in these holders and uh, can very accurately control the free space beam properties. Uh, we can design this, we simulate this, and we measure this before we place components on the optical platforms. Additionally, we can put uh, discrete components on these optical platforms. So we can have detectors, we can have modulators integrated uh, on uh, such sensing platforms. And the platform I showed to you actually is coupling to a external micro bottle resonator. And as soon as you uh, rotate this uh, bottle resonator, you can detect and uh, also uh, quantify uh, the rotation. And this is one application uh, that we uh, uh, realized uh, last year. Uh, what are other components on this platform? Uh, centrally, we use a modulator chip. So this is an integrated phase modulator. And this is uh, based on a separate glass mount. And uh, it, it, it includes uh, optical interfaces. We have a fiber coupled to the modulator chip again. And we have discrete uh, exit beams and uh, can also include laser ablated mechanical alignment features. So we can have some pre-alignment when we integrate this in the full system. We have uh, electronic readout circuits that are also realized on glass. So we have photodiodes uh, that are put into pockets that are lasered into the glass. And uh, there are leads and paths so we can put the electrical components in place. We can also do any wire or ribbon bonding on such uh, glass plates. And we can have very small features as small as 80 microns square for electrical paths. So how do we fabricate these uh, glass platforms and their metallizations? We have a full line of panel machines that uh, can do laser cutting, that do the sputtering of uh, thin films, uh, that do dip coating, laser direct imaging, and that do laser cutting again. And uh, not shown here, are machines at IZM in the wafer processing line uh, that we also operate in collaboration with uh, Technical University Berlin that have even higher accuracies uh, in production. At Fraunhofer IZM, we also have a dedicated line uh, that is doing automated photonic assembly. Uh, the approach is here to have active alignment, so you operate all optical components directly as you assemble micro-optical lenses uh, and fibers uh, onto these platforms. Uh, this uh, covers all types of packages, so we can assemble butterfly packages or uh, transceiver platforms with these machines, and uh, typically with a resolution of 200 nanometers and 6 degrees of freedom. So these are industrial machines that can work 24-7. And uh, uh, we have active tracking of the beams, tracking of the optical quality and the coupling efficiencies that we realize in these machines. And uh, we are permanently extending these, uh, this line. Uh, we currently have a fourth uh, machine that is specialized in uh, CO2 laser-based glass welding. And uh, I can show you one uh, view from inside the machine. It's uh, uh, active alignment and laser welding of optical fibers to glass plates or to microlens arrays or to planar substrates such as PICS, photonic integrated circuits. An additional approach um, that we use for prototyping, uh, we use uh, nanometer resolution hexapods. Yeah? So this is an open platform. Um, and we can enhance these hexapod systems with tools that we also laser from glass. And we have a high adaptability also on the machines that put together uh, optical systems. So we have uh, glass tools and adapters uh, that we can uh, fashion from glass. We can integrate very fine features in the glass, for example, for fiber holders. And uh, 
we then do active alignment on such hexapod machines yeah, and glass parts. And uh, the res resolution is even better for scanning and aligning. It's better than 10 nanometers in these machines. Wrapping up uh, this uh, third online seminar in the series In Glass We Trust, I try to show you a panel-based way of integrating photonic assemblies. We use thin industrial glass, uh, either drawn or float glass, typical with thicknesses of 0.5 to 5 millimeters. We make use of large panel glass, um, which is an inexpensive material. And we take advantage of laser and sputter processing of these panels in established machines. We can enable hybrid optical electronic packages and uh, use that we have a high adaptability and scalability both in size and complexity of such glass-based photonic systems. As a takeaway, we use thin glass that have features lasered into it to simplify sequential alignment on assemblies and have also features on tools uh, for the assembly. And uh, we are currently setting up finer and faster femtosecond pulsed laser ablation and also build up machines so we can have more alignment features included in the glass. We also know how to laser weld optical fibers to micro optics and uh, chips and uh, this in ever increasing new configurations. And uh, we have specialized lab machines, but we are also there moving on to production machines. Furthermore, uh, we go into packaging. Yeah? So we can singulate it large panel fabricated uh, optical assemblies. We can singulate those in small uh, so-called optical chip scale packages. So we can also use all panel approaches. We use freeform laser structuring, the, the metal coating, uh, and uh, different ways to integrate optical components and then uh, stack and seal up the package. So uh, we place laser dies, uh, for example, with the sintering methods. We can also close up the packages by laser welding, uh, where we use copper commonly as a metal. Stay with us in contact and visit our future webinars. Uh, we have uh, a fourth seminar uh, coming up uh, on direct coupling of optical fibers to glass photonic chips by laser welding. And uh, yeah, I would like to also uh, invite you to that. I would like to thank you for your attention and uh, please contact us if you have any ideas or questions and uh, we would like to get in touch with you.